I told you I never wanted to see you again, but you just had to come back and bring three freaking DLCs with you. Hey guys, NCS fan 001 here, and I hope you enjoyed that very stupid attempt at a live action intro. So, oh boy, I have not been excited for this. Today we are starting up a new Let's Play that I promised a long time ago, Homefront the Revolution's DLC content. So, the guys over at uh, Dam Buster and Deep Silver had the balls to release three DLCs for this game. Well, technically only one's come out so far. It's called The Voice of Freedom. It's a fairly short one, the same way that the Aftermath DLC is going to be later this year. And then a much larger DLC called Beyond the Walls comes out in 2017. So, you guys probably remember just how much fun I had platinuming and trying to let's play this game. Now, admittedly though, I will say this now, I hope I'm not jinxing it, but this game has gotten a lot better. It has gotten significantly better. I will say that now. As of patch like 1.9 or whatever the most recent one was, this game has gotten significantly better. And I give, I do have to give Dam Buster and Deep Silver credit for at least trying to fix their broken game and actually making a lot of progress. It still only runs at like an early PS4 game level, so still not to where it should be, but significantly better than it was a few months ago when I was Let's Playing this game. So, without further ado, let's jump on in. The Voice of Freedom is under the story, and fortunately it is a fully separate thing, which is actually really, really nice. I didn't think so, I just wanted to see what would happen. Okay, so there's no trophies for beating this on Death Wish, and I mean, I'm probably gonna have to replay it anyway, because I know that there's other trophies for it that are probably missable. So we're just gonna play on Hardened, like I did for the main Let's Play. Even though Death Wish probably still is not that difficult. But yeah, this game has gotten significantly better than it was a few months ago back when I was Let's Playing it. And it deserves all the crap it got back then, but it has gotten a lot better, and I would urge you guys to at least give the main game another try. I think it deserves another chance, because I actually was playing it a couple days ago for like two or three hours straight and I didn't run into really any issues with the game. Like a little bit of lag and stuff, but nowhere near where it was. Oh. Exists. Okay, this should make it clear. Let's go over it one more time. So, this is us? No, what? We're here. This duck is the checkpoint, and this is Green Tree, see? I mean, it's not to scale, obviously. Jill, this look right to you. Aren't we the duck? Elon, focus on the mission. <laughs> the truck picks us up here and smuggles us through the checkpoint into Yellow Zone. Once in Green Tree, we deliver you to Harv's cell, and he'll take you on to Parish. We've been really careful. I mean, it's not every day someone like you comes to town. You talk like we're home and dry, Elon. A hundred things could go wrong. What's planning her like? What do you think? She's your wife. Go talk to her. <laughs> really glad you're here, Walker. If you can start the revolution, maybe we can kick the KPA out. Get back to how things work. Hell, why well, think small? We'll make it better than before. I know you're taking a big risk coming here. We'll do whatever it takes to get you into Philly safely. You can count on us. Guys, the truck's here. Come on. I have a feeling this is going to start something like the main game did. We're all set. Come on, people. Let's move. Come on, quick. I think I saw some movement back there. I know, motherfuckers! Eat this! <laughs> Okay guys, so before we do anything else, I just want to bring up a couple things about this DLC. It serves as a prequel, actually, to the main game, taking place before Benjamin Walker is encountered during the first mission of the game. So it's actually interesting we get to play as the guy who's basically the legend that's like the leader pretty much of the entire revolution. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if the Aftermath DLC will have something to do with rescuing him. That or Beyond the Walls, I assume will. Because, I mean, that would kind of make sense given his fate is left pretty ambiguous in the main game. But, uh, you know, I mean, he's captured in the first mission of the game, so that's not really a spoiler. So there's that. It's taken place before that. And our enemy in this DLC is a new group of bandits called, like, the 90s or something. Okay, so uh, I'm just trying to get used to the game again. I haven't been... I mean, you guys, like I said, I played it a little bit before, but not a whole lot. Uh, a couple days ago, I was sort of messing around in it, just trying to see if it was going to even be worth playing the DLC. So, I mean, I haven't even had a chance to look at the equipment, but this pistol looks a little different than the one I'm used to. Uh, let's see what we got. It is... No, it's still the same pistol, and it's all the same gear, but it looks like we only get two slots, maybe, instead of uh, three, which would make sense given it's just a smaller DLC and everything. I'm almost out of ammo. Crap. Man, I haven't been in that situation in a while. And we're only playing on normal. Excuse me, your guys burp. Because I actually got back to my old habit of drinking a uh, thing of coffee before doing a recording, and I just died, and that's why I'm out of practice with this. Okay, I promise that won't happen again in this video. At least I'll try not to let that happen. I guess I'm just trying to talk and everything, too, so... Trying to get used to everything again, so this first video might be a little more fail-filled than normal. Yeah, it's clearly not KPA. There's probably a better place to go here as well. I also need to be a little more conservative on the ammo. Okay, there's only like five or six total guys here, so I think I'll be okay if I just uh, play it a little more carefully. And don't go into my menu to try to figure out what my extra equipment is. Whoa, 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 sir. How did you live? So I guess these guys have weapons like the KPA that are fingerprint locked and can't be used by anyone that's not the intended user, which, I mean, it's it's an interesting idea and game concept and everything, but it is a little bit annoying at times. I mean, that technology certainly doesn't exist now, and in this alternate universe, I feel like it probably wouldn't. Now, you see, that was not difficult. It was just me being sort of a little bit off. Well, I mean, I don't know why they blew up the truck exactly. I would assume these guys are probably going to be... What is this? A brick? Why do we even have that? I would assume these guys are probably going to be something like the survivalists in the original home front that you guys may remember. Looks like my health's going back up steadily, which is nice. Hmm, that's awkward. Awkward positioning there. One full mag left. Been a lot of dialogue so far. I haven't been able to talk as much. All right, so what do we have in the bus? You know, you would think that if you were expecting a visit from the guy that's like the legendary resistance leader. Oh. But that's no fun. That's not fun at all. Oh, wow, the protagonist actually talks in this. Okay, uh, more than a... First thing I want to do here... Let's see the map. Let's see where we actually are here. Okay, so it's an entirely different region, and I assume that this is not the only area, because, I mean, we're going underground or something. Okay, cool. I don't even know if this uh, DLC is open world, though. They didn't really make that too clear. It's one Seeker drone. I've handled like a million of those in all my playthroughs now of this game. I think you're overreacting a bit, because I think we're going to be fine, because, again, I've taken out much worse than this. Now, yes, I did have better weapons, and like I was trying to say, why would you give this guy who's basically like the full-on leader of the Resistance a pistol? That's the best you can do for him, because logic. Uh-oh. Hello. A little more open-ended. That's cool. Uh, once that drone goes away, I think I'll knife him. Let's give you a nice pointy metal dildo! I did not do that the way I was supposed to, did I? 
Okay, so I won't feed him a giant metal dildo this time. Okay, then. I didn't die, though. Okay, I'm, again, I'm a little bit jumpy, a little out of practice, and I, I realized the second I started charging there, he's going to notice me, isn't he? And he did. And I just wanted to feed him a nice big metal dildo, but I guess he didn't want it. Or he did take it, but it didn't end up going the way it was supposed to. Someone snitched on me. Not a good day. I might not be drinking coffee, though, anymore on these runs, because honestly, I'm not feeling that much of a boost in energy, even though I haven't drank a coffee in, like, six months. All right, whatever. Regardless, uh, this time I will actually take it slowly, play this the way it's supposed to be done. Even though it was one freaking Seeker drone, it's not that big a deal. I think I'd be fine. All right, looks like he's the only one. Okay, don't walk out in front and do anything stupid, please. I'm the only one here that is allowed to do stupid stuff. And how would they know it was Walker? Like, no one would have seen it, and I would have killed the Seeker drone in time. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Dead. Alright, that was pretty simple. Alright, now we should be safe. Dropping a couple glow sticks. Okay, then. Uh, can we get, like, some supplies or something down here? Because we don't really have anything at the moment. Oh, yep, there we go, a health kit. I will gladly take that. Any ammo? Anything useful? Let's go through the door. What's going to be on the other side? Apparently nothing. Uh, what's going on out here? Lockers, can't even search those. Ooh, a journal. I think there's like at least six journal entries in the DLC. I probably won't be reading them though. I don't really care that much. Ooh, ammo. I will gladly take that. And we found a journal entry. Very cool. So what are we going to have upstairs? Whoa there. We got to sneak past somehow. All right then. Uh... I'm just looking for other supplies first. Can I go into this vent thingy and scavenge anything? Nope. Okay, apparently it's not going to let me sneak past him even if I really, like, wanted to. That wasn't really where I wanted him to die at, given that he's now, like, in open line of sight. And I can't, like, move his body or anything, so that's probably not the best place for him to be at. Okay, the stealth idea is cool and all, but it's not, since it's not really open world, it's not quite the way that I guess I'd like for it to be. Hopefully there will be some open world aspects. Hopefully it's not just like a two hour long, just straight up story or something. I'm also focusing on everything that happens so I can write like the trophy guide and everything for it. But as you guys can see, I mean, the frame rate and everything is significantly better than it was, you know, uh, a couple months ago or whenever the last time I played this was. So it's gotten a lot better than it was. Guess you do this stuff all the time. Yeah, way too often. So what exactly, is Walker just like a figurehead or something? I mean, we see him do a little bit of killing in the main game. I don't know, whatever, not a big deal. Subtract, that's very poorly spelled. Uh oh, there's a guy up there. Can't see a way past. Take her out, Walker. Quickly and quietly. Can I okay, I didn't have to jump. That's what I was worried about. That I might have to jump over that ledge or something. And dead. Quite simple. Things we do to each other. Worst part is it gets easier. And if only we could take that weapon, because that's actually a really cool looking gun. It's like a nice looking sniper rifle and everything. Okay, so green tree yellow. I'm thinking that may have been something from the main game, but I could be wrong. Okay, so there's a Goliath here. They're destroying buildings. Well, it happened for like the first day and a half. Didn't it? Like, I think it happened for like the first day and a half. They gave people food and then they just enslaved everyone. We should be through the worst of it now. 
I'm sure we won't be. I'm sure something else bad is going to happen. Okay, first mission complete. Hostile uh, negotiations or whatever it was called. And a trophy, cool. Any more supplies that I can use? <laughs> and I feel like they could easily like hide like a little bit of ammo back here or something, but... No, you would think they'd have some kind of supplies there that could help me. Okay, so... I doubt that's gonna work, honestly. Nineties or die. I'm really sorry about this. It's not on you. It's war. If this was easy, everyone would be doing it. God, there's so much uh, dialogue. Vance is right. We won't be making a deal with these guys. Clearly. So they've got like a resistance guy, I guess, and a KPA guy strung up. All right then, that's that's just very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. So let's head on through here and see what's going on. Well, it's not that loud, but I'm sure there's gonna be enemies around here somewhere. Okay, they probably heard that bit of it. We've got some propellant, so it's actually giving me a tutorial here on how to scavenge and everything, which is kind of unusual given that, I mean, I've beaten the main game a few times and most people have probably at least played the main game. So yeah, looking for other materials though, I mean, we definitely are gonna need more ammo and everything. Ooh, a brick. I will take a brick. Might need that brick. All right. Looks like we're okay. Probably will not need this brick. There's no other way past. We have to get this gate open. Shit. We need to do it before the whole fucking tunnel collapses. See this cable? Vance went to see where it leads. He thinks there might be a generator nearby. Me and Jill will watch for more than I know coming down from the surface. Walker, can you go help Vance find the generator? None of us should be alone down here. Okay, I'll go help him look. Why do I have to go? Aren't you trying to, like, keep me alive or something? And I mean, every time you see something like this happen in a movie or a game, it never ends badly, right? I mean, it certainly never ends badly in Metro 2033 or Redux, or, La or Last Light or Last Light Redux. That was actually a really fun game. Those of you guys who never really played it, those were actually really fun. The generator must be deeper in. We have to get this door open. Let's take a look around. So why am I the one that's having to do it again? Check upstairs. I'll search down here. Can I go out of this train car? No, I can. Oh, hang on a second. Got to get over there somehow. Can I? Probably can't go through there. Anything up above me? I see a lot of supplies and stuff over there, so... Can I not just... I guess I can't squeeze through. Oh, one IED. Well, I might be able to make you one of those. I cannot. I do not have a battery. Sorry. I do have a Molotov cocktail, though, which I guess is nice to have. I guess I'm not allowed to go through that gate, so... Clearly it's something to do with this train car. Uh, something find right. Stairs. Find up those right stairs. What stairs? What stairs are you even talking about? Like, I don't see any stairs that I can go up. Can I go? Oh, wow. I can just, oh, wait. No, I can't go this way. Huh. Well, where else can I even go right now? Like, really? Hmm. Walker, can you help Vance? I want to help him, but I can't find a staircase that I'm looking for. Did he just... Oh, I bet he... Yep, he hopped that. Wow, okay, that was a lot more simple than it should have been. Or than, it, than I expected it to be. It wasn't necessarily more simple than it should have been. I mean, this is a shooter, not like a puzzle game or anything. Okay, Alright, guys, I think we're running on like 19 minutes now, so it's been a pretty long video so far. I don't know if anything is going to get cut out that's just yes. like walking or a failure or something. I guess we'll see. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you for part two.